Alrighty. This is the uh, Wash Tech Easy Wash uh, at uh, Ampol Nichols. Our code today is 795. 395. And wait. Uh, code accepted. Let's go. I okay. just want to party with you. Oh, wait. Do you want to fold in the mirrors as well? Oh, no. My god, it's like you're bloody voracious when it comes to like driving into the car wash. <laughs> My god. I'm an expert now. Yeah, a so called expert, sure. And so we're getting our uh, um, free rinse to rinse off any mud and crap. Uh, what's it doing next? It's doing foam. If you're wondering what that noise is, that's coming from the McDonald's next door. They're doing some drilling. This machine did a pause. Now it's coming back with foam. It's not half bad, but it could be better. Probably must be the wax from our last car wash. Let's see, look, look at it. See how it's like not really staying on. Alright, so brush wash. This is probably doing a front crossover. I'm just doing the wheels there. Maybe. and the brush at the same time. I guess that whoever wired the uh, motors on this probably, probably has them around the wrong way. Because Normally they're supposed to kind of uh, on the back, on the front of the car they're supposed to go against the direction of travel, but now it's going with the direction of travel, which is weird. Normally it's supposed to do it in reverse. Normally it's supposed to do it in the reverse way. Because I'm sure if you remember the, the airport one, that one did that one correctly. This one's probably around the wrong way. So. For all I know, we might have bed license plates at front or back, I'm not sure. Hopefully not. I'm going to this particular car wash. I've been to the one at the airport which uses the same machine. But I haven't, I don't think I've really been to any of the others.
Oh, there we go, got some good lighting as well. I am, so now it's going to probably apply a foam polish. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's applying a foam polish. Yeah, it is. It's going to brush it in. Okay. Uh, maybe. Hmm. Guess not. Another one. Nah. This, it this wasn't spot free rinse. Nah, this isn't a spot free rinse. This might be just either drying aid. Let me listen. I think this is probably drying aid or a wax. I think it's probably drying agent. Ah oh, yeah, so this is this uses a similar style dryer to that Chinese one. And see how there's no sensors on the side of it? Because it just follows um, the pattern that the brush has. Well, I wouldn't say pattern, but it follows what the brush was doing. Well, it does a good job drying. Yeah, it's, like, it's similar to like a Dyson Airblade, I guess. Yeah, it does a double pass. In China, they, uh, not in China, in Japan, their dryers are really powerful, but they only do a single pass. So it leaves some cars like this. And I'll say this, they have one of these installed in Hong Kong as well. How do you know? Google Maps. Uh. And so, um, they also have a couple of those Japanese or Chinese machines also installed in Hong Kong as well. So that means it's kind of like almost a gateway, I guess. So you've got the little um, side blower there, you've got the roof bar, you've got the roof, uh, you've got the side blower nozzle. It did alright. Yeah, it did a good job. Yeah, but the roof brush is dripping all over everything. Yeah, but it still did a good job, right? Yeah, yeah. Although, for a $17 wash, if I remember correctly, yeah, near, for a near $18 wash, I would expect the brush to spin to remove any droplets. That's true. The other one did. Yeah. And... There we go, we're done.